What's good, YouTube? So, quick little video today. Uh, as the title reads, it uh, says, you know, are we giving artists too much credit? So, kind of what I mean by that, I'll go into in the explanation, kind of, you know, explain what I mean. Is uh, I think there's a lot of artists that are currently putting out music or have put out music that they're good artists and they make good quality music. I think we may be giving them a little bit too much more credit than what's warranted. Because sometimes I hear some of the music that comes out, even mainstream, underground, SoundCloud stuff. And I'm like, all right, that's a good song, but it's not really a noteworthy song or it's kind of just seems low quality. The quality of the song itself, like the piece itself might be good. Mixing might be good. Beats good and whatever the case is. But sometimes I just kind of feel like we give a lot more credit to some of these songs that aren't really worth the time and effort to put that much credit into, to be honest. So artists have put out, <clears throat> you know, you know, videos and songs recently. And uh, just diff um, a couple of handful of different artists. And I noticed that it's just like people just kind of go crazy over it or like they just have like a cult following. And then you hear the song and you're kind of like, all right, that's kind of lackluster, but maybe it's a throwaway. And then you hear another one and it's like that, then another one and it's like that, then another one and it's like that. So I think we kind of give these artists a little bit too much credit to some degree at some, you know, after this kind of seems like after artists get their their mainstream attention or get a lot of attention, get a lot of plays, it's like, they kind of don't know what to do with it at that point <clears throat> and just kind of like starts throwing stuff out there, putting it out there. But because they do already have that cult following or that whole bunch of attention, they kind of can just get away with it. So it'd be like um, if I'm a painter and I make the world's best painting, something like the Mona Lisa. Right. And then uh, everybody loves the Mona Lisa. And then I go and start making more paintings. <clears throat> and it's like I can never outdo that Mona Lisa. I always fall very fall short or very short of uh, pieces that are like that. But people see the Mona Lisa piece and think, oh, that was a great classical classic piece of art. And then I put out these other pieces after that that aren't quite as good or maybe not near as good at all. <clears throat> but people try to hold it to that same standard just because of me as the artist of me, who I am and me putting that out there. Personally, I don't you know, I don't think that's I don't know. I just don't I don't personally like that because I, I, I like when I have a good piece of music, a good piece of art or a good art, you know, art, artwork or whatever from a, a creative person. And they continue to kind of <clears throat> develop on that and uh, elevate and go further past that. But when it kind of seems like you started off here and then you start putting out content and then you end up and it's still kind of here, it's like you kind of went backwards. But the only reason the numbers look good are is because of that following you, that you built with your original piece with that original Mona Lisa. So I think <clears throat> I've noticed this, that I think we give a lot more credit to uh, uh, artists. That I don't think it's just kind of like that wasn't even that great of a piece. So, for example, we can use somebody like a, a Drake or the Migos. So like Migos, for example, Hannah Montana came out. That was like one of their first songs to really blow up. That's one of the songs I, I remember, uh, you know, listening to and having it blow up. Right. But let's just say they put that song out and then every song after that was just always fell short. It's just always not, you know, it's just kind of like, eh, you know, this is a, a cool song. It's, you know, kind of like a throwaway song. But then you say Hannah Montana gets 10 million plays. And these other songs get 20 million plays. But it's just kind of like they're just kind of eh songs. I think uh, artists need to take a little bit, be a little bit more serious with their artistry and uh, really kind of fine tune and groom their music and their sound or their uh, artwork or whatever their creative content is and uh, kind of continue to develop from that and kind of, you know, there needs to be an upwards trajectory, not just because of the numbers that you see, but an upwards trajectory in their art and their their, their artistry and their uh, and the content that they put out. So that's all I really wanted to say, man. Just a quick little video, nothing too crazy. Just keeping it short. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed you guys uh, holidays. All the holidays are over. So that's nice. I've been a lot really busy uh, myself and I'm just kind of getting back into the groove of things. So I just wanted to make a little quick video, give you guys some content today. And then, uh, uh, you know, next week we'll be back at it on normal schedule programming, uh, you know, putting some beat content out there, making some tutorials and whatnot for you guys. I've got a couple of different ideas in the, uh, that I put in my notes and in the vault of uh, what people have asked me to show them. So I'll, I'll you know, get back to that. But that's really about it. Follow me on all my social medias. Milan makes beats. Um, if y'all got it, you'll find me. If I don't, you won't. If you like this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. Drop a, in the comment sections. You know what artists you think are doing really well, or artists that I should look out uh, look out for, and continue to uh, 
you know, kind of check out and then the artists that you think be like, hey, this artist could do a little bit better. What do you think? Give me a critique on this artist. So I know, you know, how what's your opinion, that kind of stuff. And uh, just, you know, continue to interact with the videos, man. I really appreciate the love and support that I get from you guys. And uh, I hope that's, uh, you know, continues. So, again, follow me on all my social medias, like the video, leave a comment and uh, peace. We'll see you next week.